following video is best experienced with headphones. Hello everyone, my name's Jake. Welcome to All Things Tone. Right, so, reverb. Do you use it as an after effect or do you use it kind of unconventionally? Well, what you heard in the in the in the first part of the video was me using it in both ways um, and together. So we're gonna look at both ways and how they might be useful for you. Um, I'll walk you from a board. I've got the line selector and that's uh, running in an effects loop. That's got the Space Station Pro in, which is a reverb, di you know, digital reverb with the cockfighter in, uh, a fuzz unit. Then it's going to be the Fuzzmaster General, Blues Driver, Compressor, Chorus, Sunset, Tuner, IR, and then finally the Boss RV500. So, traditionally, people would use reverb as an after effect. So I'll just show you my dry tone and then I'll put in the RV500 which I'm using as my after effect. So this is my dry tone. No reverb. Let's put some reverb on now. So this is an after effect reverb but it is kind of a weird one. Um, this is what's called non-linear reverb, and what that is really is it's a new style of reverb where it freezes the reflections and then it feeds it back in um, to, to your effect, essentially. So I've got it set up where it's it's got like a, a long pre-delay, so it sort of sounds like a delay, but a frozen reverb just delayed. So that's kind of what you hear. I've also got a pitch modulation on it to give it that kind of um, moving in and out of tune sort of sound. So yeah, that's my after effect reverb. Um, my pre-effect reverb is the Space Station Pro and it's a super cheap pedal. It only cost me like 80 quid. Um, and it, it just does, you know, your basic super cool like um, long reverb sounds as well as a little bit of delay so we're just going to be looking at the reverb sound of it um, and the way that I've got this set up is it is in the effects loop and it's been fed you know wet dry with the rest of the rest of the board now it's going into the fuzz which is in the effects loop and you'll hear that if I turn the fuzz off and turn the blues driver off it sounds like this <laughs> So it's really nice, it's, it, it's got a little bit of modulation in it as standard, um, but when you put on some, um, some distortion and some fuzz, you'll really hear that it sounds quite different. So what's happening there is that it's basically compressing the reflections so that they're all drawn out at the same sort of volume. And what you end up doing that is you end you end up painting a texture rather than um, something you know as like a melodic line. So if you think about this as like a like a paintbrush of um, 
of sound, whereas this is kind of like a detailer. Um, that's the difference, really, if you use that kind of analogy. So we'll just hear the space station again, and I'll pop the, the fuzz and the blues driver on, and you'll, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> If you add some strumming in there as well, it kind of um, sounds more like a texture. Now what's interesting is that a lot of people do use that effect, especially like shoegazers, but um, what's even more, um, like more creative is using both styles of um, approach together. So what you'll hear is, is that you get the texture in from this one, you get the after effect from this one, but all the distortions happening sort of in between all that. And then because this is a modulated reverb as well, um, you'll hear that the whole board is kind of shifting in and out of tune while I'm playing. So I'll just show you, show you that. So, Space Station Pro, RV500. So yeah, they're kind of um, the ways that I would use reverb um, if I was gonna do like, you know, some shoegazy texture-y kind of stuff. Um, an interesting thing to talk about as well is when you're using fuzz on a reverb you can get this weird sort of lo-fi sound to it. So if you only feed it in a tiny bit in the mix and you use a bias control you can get this sort of vinyl crackle on it and it, it adds like this lo-fi quality to it. So I'll just try and demonstrate that for you now. So. Let me just take the bias all the way off and we just hear the space station going into the drive of the um, cop fire. Now if you bring the bias up a little bit. It's starting to crackle up now. If you bring it all the way here, you'll hear that the noise floor's gone now. So it'll only let a certain amount of the reverb through uh, and you'll get sounds like this. Sort of fizzling out now. If you turn the, um, the decay off as well, like if you bring it down a little bit, it, you'll really sort of hear this uh, sort of crackle on it. So, you get me. Um, yeah, so what we've learned today is essentially using reverb pre-effect, using reverb after effect, what the difference is, using modulated reverbs, um, and you know, getting experimental with reverbs. So you get your after effect traditionally by using it at the end of your circuit, like we've done with the RV500. You can modulate that by adding um, pitch modulation to it, which gives it that um, illusion that sort of everything's shifting in and out, uh, which we've also patched on the RV500. Um, we've learnt about a pre-effect reverb, where essentially you're using your reverb more like, like a paintbrush, so it's a texture rather than a detailer. And then also some cool things, um, trying to get like a vinyl crackle out of it. And you can do that by uh, using a bias control. And you, that's not exclusive to the cockfighter, by the way. The, um, I believe the Zvex Fuzz Factory has a bias control on it. You can get very similar sounds out of that. In fact, probably more extreme ones. Um, and you can use that underneath um, a conventional reverb. 
Um, so yeah, that's kind of everything. Right, so yeah, if um, if you enjoyed that, please give us a like, a share, sub, whatever. Um, and it still stands, there's a, a giveaway coming up. If you can follow me on Instagram, um, give us a like on this video, uh, subscribe to this channel, give us a like on my Facebook page. Um, once I get to about 100, I'll, um, I'll be giving one of my pedals away. So, I hope you learnt something. That was All Things Tone, that was Reverb. Um, have a great day. Cheers.